What's up? It's Eric. I'm out here with the Arma Fire team again. This time she's taking on a little bit of a transformation. First of all, a huge shout out to M2C Racing and also uh, Kimberly from Basher Queen. Uh, this thing is completely, uh, again, completely beef caked out with all the awesome upgrades. I ran this truck basically bone stock for three full videos just to really give you guys the chance to see this truck performing straight out of the box other than a couple of tuning things. This truck is super tough straight out of the box. I was really impressed. I haven't had any kind of major brakes on this truck whatsoever, even doing some pretty hard uh, bashing on it, other than the chassis bent just a little bit, and I had a couple of bearings go out in it. But when you're bashing hard, stuff like that happens. It's just it's just normal physics. So now that I've had this truck for a bit, I just wanted to go ahead and give her some, uh, some bling. So we'll go ahead and pull the lid here, so you guys can see that. This thing is shining like a diamond now. Got some beautiful Basher Queen uh, carbon fiber towers on here. You got the mud flaps right there. You got her beautiful uh, servo mount right there. Also the Ackerman bar. It's her HD Ackerman bar. And also the uh, uh, Pure Force locking servo saver. This is a really sweet servo saver. Uh, it actually screws in right here. Your, uh, your nut will screw in and it's got a uh, little grub screw that'll squeeze it together to lock it in place so it doesn't budge. So it's a really cool design. I have it on my Italian XL and so far it's holding up perfect. It hasn't come loose. Also this beautiful carbon fiber tower to tower brace with the hot racing uh, rod ends on it. Of course our beautiful ESC plate right here which uh, this uh, Max 6 uh, just mounted right up to it. It's got You got screw holes in the bottom of the ESC so you run your screws to the bottom of the mount to secure that sucker down. It's not going anywhere. And also a nice little spot to uh, mount your switch. The biggest thing guys is the backbone to this truck is the M2C chassis and braces right here. I added that in because that is the complete backbone to keep this rig together. I mean, it's absolute beautiful work by Mitch and Avery once again. Uh, this chassis is now available for this truck. It's the same one for the Mojave. So it'll fit right up perfect, the chassis and the braces. I also have the M2C drive shafts in the back and then in the front right here. I still need to switch out to the other ones. I just got to get some more in. As far as the electronics, guys, the stock system was plenty fast in this truck. It had loads of speed. I just wanted to go ahead and uh, switch out to something a little bit more torquey. Uh, just a little bit more power. I've got plans for the stock system that came out of this truck. So I'm now running a Hobby Star 4082 2000 kV. That's basically my go-to motor for all my 1.8 and 1.7 scale builds. It's just a ripping motor. It's, uh, it's, it's not as heavy as some of the bigger 4092s and, and larger, but it still has tons of speed and power. Of course, I've got the uh, Max 6 ESC in here. So I can't wait to give this baby a run. I'm running a Sokoken 6S LiPo in here, 7200 100 c These are amazing batteries. I'll put a link in the description. You guys want to uh, check it out. Forgot to mention too, I'm running the M2C shock standoffs. And the cool thing about uh, Basher Queen Towers is it already has the hole right here for a four mil bolt. So it houses the M2C standoff perfectly. So if you order these towers, you probably need to go ahead and get the M2C standoffs as well, just to go ahead and make that a one and done. It's just a very nice uh, pair together and super, super tough. As far as the setup, again, I'm running 30,000 in the front. As far as the diff oils, uh, 500,000 in the center, and then stock 10K rear. As far as the body, it's been holding up very nice considering the abuse it's taken, except for this dude right here that threw his guns out along with his hands. <laughs> I guess he just wants to ride. Um, I did have a couple of cracks in the roof right there and in the hood, uh, basically from doing some mega launches and landing in gravel in 35 degree weather. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a quick rip out here in this big open area. I brought the ramp too. It's kind of a loamy clay, uh, real loose. So it'd be kind of a different terrain to try this truck out on. These tires, once again, are just amazing. And I uh, love how they hook up. So far they're holding up. Haven't blown a, haven't blown a glue bead or a foam or anything. So we'll, we'll see what happens with this different electronic system. All right guys, let's give it a rip, see what's up. Forgot to mention, I got a 17 tooth pinion on there with the 2000 kV motor. So we'll have to uh, stop and check the temps after a while. Let's give it a rip, see what's up. That was rough.
Not sure what that was. All right, guys, I noticed a little bit of extra squeaky noise. My drive shaft popped out. I got a blown bearing up front right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that real quick. I'm gonna give my fully M2 CFI V3 tie and a quick rip out here. This is uh, the perfect spot, perfect terrain for this kind of vehicle. Nice flat surface. So we're just gonna give her a quick rip. Guys, it feels really good to get the old girl back out. The old original V3 Italian. This thing right here is still my favorite. It's a beautiful truck, handles like a dream, and flies so nice. Fully M2 CFI too, so she's a complete tank. All right, guys, back in the studio with the Arma Fire team after the bash. Again, this truck is so much fun. It handles so nice. It was really cool to try this truck out in that really loamy clay sand to go try a different terrain. Again, these tires just, just rip and grip. Uh, such amazing wheels by Arma. So big shout out to them for, for a nice new tire option. As far as the truck goes in here, there was no major brakes. Uh, once again, everything held up nice. The M2C parts of the Basher Queen. So big shout out again to Basher Queen for her amazing parts. The towers held despite some pretty nasty rolls and stuff. Uh, the cage on this truck, on the body, the cage rests right on the towers right there. So that's, that's a huge testament to these uh, very nice carbon fiber towers by Basher Queen. The only brakes on the truck was I broke this rear brace mount right here. This this is the second one I've went through. I think this long chassis has a lot of flex in it, especially if you're uh, launching, doing some hard ramp launches and stuff. It just really overflexes the chassis, and then it puts a strain on this brace mount right here. So hopefully uh, M2C will make a nice upgrade for that uh, because you got these little um, barrel spacers right here, so you can't use the M2C brace, a uh, rear tower brace. Because of that, it would offset the uh, chassis brace. So I'm uh, working with M2C. Hopefully we're going to make a, a nice aluminum option for that right there. I did blow a couple of wheel bearings in the truck, uh, which is no big deal. I just threw some new ones in it. Driving in that uh, sandy conditions like that is, is definitely hell on bearings. 
As far as the electronics here, uh, again, this is the Hobby Star 4082 2000 KV in the Max 6. They did get a little bit toasty out there. I did get about 200 degrees on the can and 130 on the ESC, so I may drop a tooth or two on the pinion. Here's a quick shot of Bastard Queen's uh, HD Ackerman bar and also these Bastard Queen diff case gaskets right here to keep that crud out of your uh, diff case. Again, guys, this truck uh, doesn't necessarily need all these upgrades. I just I just like to uh, bling the trucks out and get them set up for the extreme bashing. Uh, again, this thing is super uh, durable out of the box. I had no no major issues out of the first three big bashes with it. You know, some guys just like to uh, bling their trucks up and uh, make them even tougher, so that's just part of the hobby. Definitely enjoy doing it. Again, I want to give a huge shout-out to Armin Horizon Hobby, M2C Racing, and Bastard Queen. And we'll get this baby back out again. Until next time, Marcy Dude 81. Peace out.